All right, guys, here's Inky. Welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. So, <clears throat> in this video, I am going to do what I usually do, and that is go over the event, give my thoughts on it, give my review of the event, and tell you guys what I think about it. So, the catastrophic recast. Was it a, a good event, or was it a catastrophic failure? Well... It's a really difficult one to call, to be completely honest, because, you know what? In some ways... In fact, you know what, see before we get to the meaty stuff? Let's talk about Explore. Was Explore any good? It was alright. It was fine. Um, they they kind of half-gated it, it was quite weird. It's like they gated two sections of it, and then at the end they just kind of let you blast through it and do what you could do. Um, it was decent enough, it kind of worked in with the workbench where if you upgraded your workbench you would eventually over time be able to beat the bosses and the stages and get some decent rewards. It was very much the same as the Dante event apart from it was a bit more time gated than the Dante event. So, I mean again, it really depends how you view that because in some ways with the, how these events work, if they gate it, you've got something to do later in the event. If they don't gate it, you beat it really early and then you've got nothing to do in the end of the event, apart from Quilo Path that we'll get to. Um, so it's really hard to call because ultimately I think what ends up happening with all of these events is you end up just blasting through them and then really there's not much to do, right? I feel like they have to find a way to make these events a little bit more long-term engaging and um, basically not just feel like once you're in you're done and that's it you've basically got two weeks of sitting about not doing much apart from the boss battle which is fun don't get me wrong but even then the boss battle becomes a little bit formulaic so to speak but this is something that's all the events so far have been guilty of so I can't really level it just at this and um, I feel like they need to do, they really need to find a way to sort of a tweak how they are going to um, do that. Now we're not going to touch the agency just yet, I'll get to the agency. We're going to talk about the Quilo Path, right? So the Quilo Path, especially on this one in particular, right? The Quilo Path has, if I go through this list you'll see a lot of these players are some might be free to play, some might be minnows, dolphins, stuff like that, right? And across the board, there was a lot of variation in the leaderboard, right? It wasn't just your typical whales all sitting up at the top of the leaderboard, okay? Apart from me, right? But this event was good because <clears throat> free to play players could compete, they could do well in this event. <clears throat> and that is because a lot of it came down to timing, crits, some of the characters who gave you the biggest amount of damage were free to play characters. You could get great scores with single copies of Virgil and stuff like that. And if we were just to base it on this part of this, I would say this event was extremely free to play friendly. Okay. So if you did not know that any anything else existed in this event, you could say that this event was very free to play friendly. However, there was another part of this event and it was the agency and unfortunately I just so happened to be on the mission in question this existed and this required you to have a pay to win character <clears throat> a character who you could only get from paying okay which just a single mission requiring a pay to win character I personally don't think that's a massive sin, okay? If they didn't put the one reward that people were caring about behind that mission. The fact that they put the tickets, which is the one thing that people want more than anything else, the fact that they decided that that is what they were going to put behind the pay to win mission is unforgivable. It's unforgivable, it is basically taking what could have been a very free to play friendly event and even though it's just one element it taints it so much with a pay to win bias that all everyone's ever going to remember is this was a pay to win event. They've done it here as well but this one isn't so bad because 
You know what I mean? It's not the tickets. Sure, getting breakstones is very desirable for people, but it's not on the same level as putting the very scarce summoning currency behind the mission. So, unfortunately, because of that, this event is always going to go down and be known as a pay to win event, which is unfortunate. Obviously, I had things like the shop, which was good for account progression. I had plenty of missions that gave you decent rewards, all of that stuff, but ultimately, all people are going to remember is I had that pay to win mission. And that pay to win mission is just going to make this go down in the memories of this game as being a pay to win event. And while I feel like the structure of this ultimately was slightly more free to play friendly because of the Quilo Path thing. And again, your mileage on this varies because depending on what server you're on would dictate whether you had one team, two teams or three teams. And it got easier depending on if you did have one team, two teams or three teams, right? I would say ultimately because you could do things like get a huge score using free to play characters was, well, I mean, well, I'll show you just now, like, I mean, the guy who was coming in regularly in second place, I know he watches content, um, I mean, apart from Gen, right, and Akuma, he used units that free to play players could have, like 100%, you could get scores like this as a free to play player. I believe if I go a bit further down, there is someone on here who did have a lot more. There you go. There you go. Absolutely. You know, third place. This is third place. And if we look, I think quite consistently, he ranked quite high. Maybe not here. But Virgil? Or was it this one? There you go. Third place. We look at the units used. Free to play, quite easily could have them. Free to play could quite easily have that. Free to play could quite easily have that. You know, it's it was an event that could be done if you were free to play, but because of the agency thing, it's just always going to be remembered for the wrong reasons. So, where would I put this? I would still say that Dante event was the best event. Um, I would have liked to have put this higher, but I feel like because of the agency, I can't put this higher, but... Really, I mean, you look at the Akuma event, you look at the Evil Ryu event, they were pretty bad for different reasons. I still think that this unfortunately has to rank as the second best event that we've had in the game, despite the fact that it was ultimately in the end a pay to win event, um, which is unfortunate. Um, so yeah, it can get spot number two on the list, but really that's only because the things below it were worse than it. And it doesn't really come close to being as good as the Dante event. So, does it get a thumbs up? Does it get a thumbs down? It gets a middle... I, I do that a lot. I don't think it... I don't think it quite gets a thumbs up, but it doesn't get a thumbs down. It's it's, it's just slightly above average. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If it wasn't for that one agency mission, I would be happy to say that this was a good event. Um, but... I feel like the agency mission kind of tarnished it a little bit. Um, some people, Wales, might have been upset about the fact that free-to-play players could compete and they might have actually put it down a bit because of that. I wouldn't. I think it's quite cool um, that people who don't have the most stacked accounts were able to challenge at the top end. I think that's pretty awesome. So it actually, it actually gets a big thumbs up from me. I just think that the agency thing gives it a massive thumbs down. So overall, it gets a middle of the road. Anyway, let me know what you think of this event in the comments down below and probably we'll have a week of doing the, the guild thing and all the rest of it. And honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if we've got a special summon again in about a week's time. It wouldn't After the next week's done, it wouldn't shock me. Not at all. Anyway guys, I've been Hazink. Remember, save your tickets. Collab on the way. Do not be baited. Do not get baited. Just save your tickets and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.